637 this morning, the death toll has risen again as uh, China's uh, coronavirus continues to spread. That's right, 492 people have died, more than 24,000 infected. And now there's new concerns the virus could have escaped quarantine before anyone ever suspected this. You are now looking live at Travis Air Force Base at Basefield in Fairfield, California. That's where two planes have landed, carrying American evacuees from Wuhan, China. One will drop them off to be quarantined. The other will refuel and head to another air base. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is following all of the latest on this. Haley. Yeah, good morning, guys. So I just want to remind you that this is not a virus that's here in our community, but it is one we anxiously watch because of how contagious it is. Scientists want to stop the spread before it crosses borders because it is so contagious. But researchers at the University of Texas say it may have spread beyond containment. Using UT Austin's Texas Advanced Computing Center, they've determined 128 Chinese cities had a 50% chance of seeing infections before the quarantine ever began. They also believe as many as 11,200 people may have been infected in Wuhan. That's 10 times the number China reported when their quarantine started. 60 million people remain under lockdown in China. Now, almost a thousand people on board the uh, the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan have been quarantined. The major decision comes after 11 people on board the ship were diagnosed with the coronavirus. 428 Americans are also on the ship, but there's no word if any of them are showing signs of the virus as of right now. Tokyo Olympic organizers are speaking out this morning, saying the coronavirus could throw, quote, cold water over the growing momentum of the 2020 games. In a meeting today, organizers said they are concerned. Several qualifying events, including badminton and boxing, have been postponed due to the virus. There are no plans, though, to cancel the Olympics by any means. The Japanese government have said it's working to minimize any impact from the virus outbreak on the games, which, again, don't start until July 24th. Wow. All right. Thank you, Haley, for that update. Mm -hmm.